rectangular back, this time with another haul video. So it's been a little while since I've done a haul video and most of the stuff came in this week. The uh, two camouflage figures that are on the left I actually got last week. Um, all the stuff came from eBay. I got a really good deal on this pair of Plan B figures. They are, I believe, the Navy SEALs. Um, they came complete except for the pistols. Um, so, very good deal for loose Plan B figures. I think I got the pair for $20 shipped. So, very happy about that. Um, I did not previously have these and uh, did not have those sniper rifles. So, very happy with that. Um, not sure if I'm going to keep them in their camouflage uniforms or paint them uh, either blue or black to go with my um, SWAT team members because uh, I think I'll probably get more use out of um, having SWAT guys than um, having guys in army fatigues. I do have some um, military uh, fatigued figures from Plan B as well so just kind of have to see what my needs are going to be but um, I like the fact that I can I can use them for either one you know they have those uh, um, the helmets and the goggles and the masks so I think they'll go really well with my with my SWAT setup and let's see uh, Gambit um, I got recently for um, now you may have heard me talking about in um, the news videos about the uh, Doctor Strange wave, which is now we now know as the Hulkbuster wave, that we're going to be getting a new Doctor Strange and his more modern costume, um, which in the New Avengers he actually wears a trench coat, and uh, didn't have a trench coat in six inch scale, so um, spent a little bit more on this figure than I wanted to, um, but I figured that. Uh, I need that trench coat for my machine man and for Doctor Strange and um, that Gambit figure actually makes a really good uh, base body for customs. Uh, the the knees or the shins, the, the shin and knee um, basically from the the knees down I might use those uh, parts of his legs for um, custom um, Angela figure. I know um, some people on uh, Figure Realm have done that and turned out really nicely. And those hands um, uh, are articulated, so I might get some use out of those as well. And then from another seller, I got this set of miniature parts. Uh, I'm working on some miniature buildings and uh, didn't want to have a whole bunch of uh, regular windows with wooden. Um, frames, but I wanted uh, to have a little bit diversity in my building setup, so I, this is a, a set of four small windows, and then there's two medium-sized ones there. And then lastly, from the same seller, I got these uh, picture frames with the, um, what's it called, Masters, uh, I got Monet, Water Lilies there, and on this one, it's a Van Gogh cornfield with Cyprus. So, um, didn't have any framed artwork for indoor shots. Uh, you know, wanted to do like a castle set up with Doctor Doom and things like that, and wanted uh, generic landscapes. Didn't want to have um, portraits or um, animals or anything like that. I just wanted something um, that I could use in uh, in a in an office setting or in a in a castle or something like that and it would uh, add to the realism and uh, be flexible. Alright, let's uh, move on to the next items. Next from Marvel Select we have the Mighty Thor and wow, very very excited to get this figure. If you saw my previous news video, um, I think I was the first person to talk about this figure on YouTube, uh, a buddy of mine who goes by Adam Warlock on YouTube, uh, he was at Disneyland and um, 
just happened to walk past the Disney store and saw this guy, grabbed him and posted uh, some pictures on Facebook and he let me use those uh, pictures in my um, news video and uh, right away I, I knew this was going to be a badass figure so I, I um, went online and ordered him. The bad news about this figure is that it is a Disney Store exclusive but you can order him through Marvel.com which is where I got him and uh, he goes for 25 bucks plus shipping very happy and uh, can't wait to get him out and um, you know a lot of people have already posted pictures of him I think this uh, whirling hammer uh, effect is going to be um, hopefully not overused but um, definitely check out uh, Feral Black's photos and uh, Incurable Collector already did a really awesome review of this guy so go ahead and check that out um, I you know, basically just gonna take him out of the package and uh, let you know what I think of him. And um, yeah, definitely uh, check out the reviews though. Here we have the figure out of the package, and wow, I can tell already I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this guy. I just blown away. I can't believe how many points of articulation that this figure has, especially for a Marvel Select. Um, I think. They're supposed to only have 16 points of articulation, but uh, don't tell, uh, don't tell Marvel or <laughs> uh, whoever's in charge. But this thing has way more than 16. Um, you know, if you if you consider a point of articulation uh, one direction of a joint, um, if it can go multiple directions, then I consider that uh, a second point of articulation. So. Um, this thing is just badass. Uh, it doesn't have completely perfect um, paint. It, you know, Marvel Select is typically known for its really good paint jobs, but uh, just a few issues on mine. Um, the spare head he comes with, um, it's got some blemishes on his chin and uh, on his head. I don't know if he's supposed to look dirty but um, mine definitely um, looks a little bit on the dirty side and on the back um, he had a lot of extra paint here on the top of his hair and I um, was flicking it off with my flicking it off with my um, thumbnail and um, it's a kind of a softer plastic like a, it's a red plastic which most manufacturers use for softer um, flexible stuff and um, the red paint or red plastic is exposed there but uh, I, I don't think I'll have any problems um, touching that up um, his eyes yeah they're kinda looking a little up um, doesn't bother me too much um, but I think this could be uh, done a little bit better it, does, it has kinda of like a green uh, tint to the blonde which I don't really care for. I think I'm gonna um, try to paint that a different color. It's probably not showing up on camera but this has kind of a green tint to it so uh, good not great as far as the spare head goes. Um, would have liked if they had made the peg a little bit longer and um, had more space in the back of the neck so that he could have him looking up a little more. Um, that's, you know, he, he does fly. Um, so it's a little disappointing that you can't, um, can't get him in a flying pose. And, uh, that's one of my biggest regrets is I didn't order two of these. I should have ordered a second one. Um, number one, if in case something happens, I'll have a backup. And number two, um, you know, I'd like to do little modifications like that to, uh, try to increase the range of motion just a little um, and this thing is really awesome it's a little heavy so um, you know he's a little bit top heavy with that uh, thick cape it is flexible but um, having him hold this um, and uh, if he's you know stretched out he, he might he might want to you might have to use the stand in order to get him um, holding this if you have them in a real dynamic pose but um, and the only other complaint is that um, the hammer 
fits in his hand pretty snug. It's a little bit tricky. You kind of have to rotate it in. So I'm kind of glad that they gave us two hands so that um, you can just keep uh, Mjolnir in his hand um, all the time and then just pull it out and swap it out with this one um, for the uh, spinning hammers um, because I think pulling this thing in and out you're gonna end up breaking that thumb off eventually but um, really like how sturdy it is it looks great um, the I can't believe I mean this Thor can do the split I mean you can you can get this Thor in a high kick it's so awesome um, never thought I would ever see a Thor figure do that um, let's see the only other um, complaint I wish that they'd maybe sculpted the muscle back a little bit more so you could get it in a little bit tighter um, uh, more of a 90 degree pose there with the arm um, but uh, you know these are pretty minor complaints overall I'm extremely happy and uh, I might have to get another one alright let's check out the next item last but very far from least from the Marvel Legends Infinite Series Hobgoblin Wave we have Spider-Man and Daredevil super excited to get these figures um, initially I didn't care about this wave and um, but when I saw the Daredevil as I was uh, pretty impressed um, excited to get a new one and uh, it, it wasn't really that thrilled about um, the Spider-Man but once I saw um, loose images of the figure and people actually posing him um, other than a vanilla pose he looked really nice so I had to pull the trigger on him and um, I was supposed to get uh, three daredevils but um, the seller is uh, out of stock um, so I'll have to wait to get the other two but um, fortunately he sent out um, both these guys at the same time and uh, cannot wait to get them out of the package and get a closer look all right so here we got the figures out of the package and overall I can say I'm pretty happy um, the spider-man does have some paint defects that hopefully I can fix without too much trouble the red paint is kind of missing in a couple spots there in his at lower abdomen there and um, just a tiny speck of red is shown up in the spider on his chest um, in the butterfly joints I guess is what you call those uh, shoulder joints that go into the chest um, the tops there there's a spot um, where that's blue underneath the red paint is missing there at the top so I'm guessing they probably handled the figure before it was fully done drawing um, mostly it's just in the red areas um, there's a, a little bit of faint the black uh, in the lines there on the middle of his mask are a little faint so that I know it can touch up the the reds gonna be kind of hard to uh, match but um, so far it doesn't look like any of the um, the joints or parts are too warped uh, I know this shin is a little bit warped but not too bad nothing that I can't fix um, the Peter Parker head, um, I, well, I call this Pizza Parker. Um, he had a little bit of uh, excess um, plastic on the corner of his mask and I was able to fleck off but and a little spot of black there in the corner. Um, so that hopefully I can match the flesh tone. But uh, overall not too bad. Um, you know it's a lot of lines, um, a lot of places for them to screw up paint wise and um, don't see too much warpage there on the fingers I think Shardimus Prime said that one of his wall, wall crawling hands the fingers looked a little warped but uh, mine looked pretty good um, and he comes with the leg for Hobgoblin which I'm gonna sell because I don't plan on building the bath and um, I am gonna probably keep a couple of the uh, pumpkin bombs because those will work well with my green goblin but uh, I'm gonna sell these uh, hobgoblin arms for sure and uh, daredevil turned out really well there's not a whole lot of places from this screw up 
paint wise um, I'm kind of shocked at how well uh, the paint gives the illusion that there's shading in his um, costume um, just the lines in the uh, sculpt itself um, don't know if they used two different shades of red um, for the plastic but it doesn't look like there's any paint on it it's just red plastic but um, maybe they swirled some paint into it I don't know it just it looks really cool. It's hard to explain um, till you have it in your hands. The the double D's turned out really well on his chest. I think there's only one little spot on it um, where the sculpt uh, makes it a little bit faint. So um, I'm not sure if I can touch it up, and uh, the next couple that I get might turn out to be a little bit better. But um, yeah, not too bad uh, as far as the warpage goes or anything like that. His uh, face um, turned out really well. I don't see. I know a lot of um, a lot of people. There, the bridge of his nose, the paint didn't turn out very well on theirs, but mine looks really clean. So I'm very happy about that. Uh, just a little bit of excess plastic there on the sides of his neck. Um, nothing that I can't fix scraping it off. So. Uh, Overall, very happy, and uh, a lot of people complaining about the um, either the T joint. Mine's just a tiny bit loose, but it's not that bad actually. Um, you know, I can just get that uh, kind of a um, rock'em sock'em action that um, is bad on some figures like uh, the Hydra Soldier, but um, it's it's not bad. It, it could be a much worse. And um, a lot of people complaining about the softness of the baton material, but um, I actually think that was a really smart move on Hasbro's part to go with a soft material because um, I was telling uh, my buddy Michael Wisman, who's he got his set today, um, that if they had gone with a hard plastic, that uh, if it's warped, if the plastic is warped, then you're going to constantly have to be heating it up, reheating it to bend it back into into shape um, to get them straight. Where these, you can just kind of um, bend it with your fingers and it'll um, bend back into shape no problem. And same with getting it in and out of his hands. Um, you, I think with this, this softer material, it doesn't seem to uh, pick up paint as well. I think is is a harder plastic. Well, wow, he looks a lot wobbly, well, more wobbly now. Um, and uh, also for connecting them together, um, <clears throat> I think eventually they're going to get worn. The more you um, put them together and take them apart, and and putting them in his um, holster there on the side that or pouch that, um, if they were a hard plastic, then they would warp. Um, Either you would have to make this pouch really soft, and if you did that, the straps would probably give way after a while, um, or just tear and break off. Um, but with this harder plastic, it start, stays on there really nice. And um, if you had a hard, if you had a hard plastic and hard plastic, it would end up warping those um, batons. So I think it was a smart move on Hasbro's part. Um, not complaining about those um, batons at all and if I want to make one with a curved handle then um, it, I don't think that would be too difficult to make on my own um, but I do have the Toy Biz <clears throat> version as well so uh, I'll have to play around and see if I want to use those in uh, any of my setups but um, yeah that's uh, very very pleased to finally get this guy and um, looking forward to get a couple more uh, Daredevils to do um, still motion shots with and with that hopefully you guys liked the video you share with your friends subscribe if you haven't already hit the like button and I always love hearing back from you guys so please leave a comment below thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys later